Okay, in the next section we're going to talk about the antifolate drugs and these work by um, blocking folic acid uh, which inhibits the growth of the bacteria because they're unable to make DNA and RNA. So we're going to talk about the sulfonamides and trimethoprim. Okay, let's do it. So regarding the sulfonamides and trimethoprim, these can be used for gram-positive or gram-negative uh, bacteria. Examples are strep pneumonia, haemophilus influenza, and uh, enteric uh, UTIs. So UTIs here are a big one, and so this is a good way to remember these as side effects. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hemolytic or aplastic anemia, thrombocytopenia, skin rash, or Steven Johnson syndrome. Okay, now we're going to talk about DNA gyrase inhibitors, and uh, the example here we're going to talk about is uh, fluoroquinolones, and what they are doing is they are uh, blocking uh, bacterial DNA synthesis, so they uh, stop the coiling of the uh, of the DNA. Okay, so talking about the fluoroquinolones, there are two generations which differ in the in their pharmacokinetics and spectrum. So first we have the first generation, which is ciprofloxacin, uh, which works for staphylococci, uh, for example, uh, MRSA, and uh, most anaerobic gram-negative bacilli. So, for example, uh, Pseudomonas, but it's not so good in working against uh, streptococci. And the newer generation um, is the same has the same spectrum as the first uh, generation, except against Pseudomonas, and um, uh, they have increased coverage against uh, Streptococci, Pneumococci, Myco, um, and uh, Haemophilus of influenza. Uh, they're very good for the lung and UTIs, um, but they have limited value in the ICU, secondary to limited action on Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas and, and MRSA, um, but they're used as part of a multiple drug treatment. And the contraindication here to be aware of is uh, using um, with uh, teens uh, because of uh, damage to tendons, ligaments, and cartilage.